Hey guys, today is a windows down kind of day. I have a call for you that um, froze up over the weekend. I wasn't going to show it, but um, I actually created more damage than was already there when I started troubleshooting Stay it. Right too late. So um, I guess what you got to do in that situation is own up to it and make it right. That's what I did. So uh, here comes that video. Sorry about that, y'all went flying on that one. But I touched my common to that power right there. And as y'all see, my common is grounded. So it popped. Didn't blow any low voltage fuse. Condenser fan motor still running because we have an X13 motor. What we need to check is make sure the blower motor is running. y'all can see that that condenser coil is clogged <clears throat> I'm not sure the blower's running it might be another X13 See little ants everywhere. Ooh, we got no blower motor. Looks like we don't have but one low voltage wire. Like I said, common is grounded. So that should be turning. Mm hmm. And we got nothing. Hmm. All right, let's kill power. Ohm out the motor.
looks like something that 2020 so yeah this may be under warranty switch this to to ohms first we're going to ohm to ground because I have disconnected this wire right here that's my ground wire we have to ohm oops, to here nothing that's good now let's ohm in between the windings twenty point one five twenty really close and 20 about about the same thing i don't think there's anything wrong with the motor we need us a new module let's make a quick trip to e and e to go pick up a module Turns out this is a package unit I installed two years ago. I didn't realize that until I looked up the warranty on it. I know he just programmed this thing. All right. These spade terminals are different sizes. So it's kind of hard to get them wrong the two greens have different size terminals
like most of the ice is gone right, let's check the other side Yep, ice is gone. I still want to wash that coal though, this one. All right, we're getting a call for why? Just waiting on my time delay.
I'm jumping out my test pins. Now, how do I have no lights but my condenser fan motors coming on? goes all the way to my contactor so my contactor's got a yellow call they got no common right now I did I blow my bullhorn? Mm -hmm. Coming off of this. All right, that goes to my contactor. What did I mess up when I... I messed something up when I was parked right here. I got 24 volts going to my contact. I got 28 volts right there. But, um, Hey, it worked that time. Ooh. Let's see if my blower came on. Blower is not on.
right, let's see what's going on with the blower. I should have. There we go, I was plugged into the wrong one. Green hair, green and purple hair. Those are my pressures. Slowly climbing on that suction. I think this is still a little bit. I don't know if y'all can see that. That pull looks a lot better. But um, I think it's still wet a little bit. Looking good. Right, so apparently when I shorted my common right here to power, I fried my board. As y'all see, I'm supposed to have on um, LED lights right here, but I've got nothing. And I had no common up here to go to my contactor, so I just moved it to common down here. So I owe them a control board. Guys, we're back with the defrost control board. I actually have one on my van i just went and picked up a new one so this is the older one that was on my van and we're fixing to change that out all right we're going to change this out and guys if you make a mistake like i did and short your board out just own up to it tell your boss or if you work for yourself just change it out you'll be glad you did it in the long run you know you'll come back and get it done right and if you tell your customers about it like hey i i did this but i'm going to correct it they will respect you for that instead of just leaving it the way it was here's the back of that board do y'all see this right here this gopro ain't real good about doing up close but that one particular line right there you see how it's completely come off right there that was my common and it fried so we're gonna put on a new one
Mm. That's my yellow. And this common goes up here. This bypass is the high pressure control. So we could actually add one to this if we wanted to. I mean, the board supports one. You could add one anyway. And we do have a low pressure. Reversing valve right here. That purple is for defrost. Energize your heat strips. Now let's put power back to it. I hear the blower starting up. We got flashing lights. Flash, flash, that's normal. All right, let's go in and make sure it's calling. Pecans all over the place out here. Gotta get that bitter out of there. All right. All right, so that one's done. Finally, I fixed the original problem and then I fixed the problem that I created. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you on the next one.